Right, we are back. I got these um, nail polishes. They're not gel polishes, they're normal standard air drying nail polishes. And I want to know whether I can get them to work in UV resin. So I bought them for something else. And what I initially tried to do was like a hydro dip with them. But I want to try something different. Now I'm going to show you what happens when you drop nail polishes onto UV resin just as they are, straight from the bottle. And you'll see it kind of just blurs out. And I don't think that's going to cure properly. We'll give it a stir and we'll see. But I kind of know in my head what I want. And I don't think this is going to be the way. So there you can see it's it's preventing the resin from curing and it's just staying in a, in a yucky mess that I'm going to have to clean up. It's not what we want. So I'm just curing that from the underside now just to make it easier to get out and you can see that gooey gunk. It's a bit like when you add alcohol inks to UV resin, they just don't work together. I can take that out now, but it is still really gooey. Really gooey. It's a shame. Right, so moving on. What if we mix the nail polish with a small amount of UV resin? I, I'm not sure if this has been done before. If it has, I do apologize. Let's try this. I don't know, what color is that? It's like a darker red. It's not the pink. That's the pink. It's like a red. And we're going to drop that. Maybe just one drop to begin with and just see how strong it is once it's mixed in. Come on. Off you come. There he goes. So, before I commit myself to dropping this into some clear resin, I want to do a, a quick test just to see if it cures just a drop on its own. It's very, it's not very opaque, it's very translucent, but then that's probably a good thing with UV resin. So let's put a drop onto my mold a big drop just so I know for sure and give that a cure okay yep that is solid what about the underside yeah so I'm happy to to have a little play around with that now and just see what we get okay so I've mixed up a few colors um, and now I'm just going to start to drop them. I'm just going to use the end of a paintbrush just so I can get some bigger bigger blobs in there. Now I'm hoping it doesn't sink and it shouldn't spread like it did before he says. <laughs> so we go with a mix of different colors. I haven't mixed up any of the blue. There are six colors in this set see it's starting to blur out a bit but not too much I'm hoping to get some good swells in there what haven't we got in there some yellow As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. I think I need some more colour down the bottom. You just drop it any way you like. Right, now for the swell. I really need to clean up my stick. My resin's starting to set. Oh no! Let's cure it anyway. Okay, round two. <laughs> That's better.
and now we're going to give that a cure. And these ones have got a nice neon glow to them as well. I do actually, this set that's standing up here is a glow in the dark set, so I may try that on a different video. So they're curing really well, no issues there. I'm going to have a little play around with some different swells and different colours and I'll see you for the next bit. So with a heart I'm just going to spin the middle and hopefully we'll get that really cool effect that we've done in previous videos. Okay, so now we know that works, I'm wondering about how to back them um, because they're not very opaque and I'm worried that if I do a black it may um, interfere with the colour and I've also forgot to <laughs> cure the underside just in case. And actually I've kind of answered my own question by flipping the mould because my, my mat is black so I can't see it being an issue, but we're also going to play around with something else um, that I've not tried yet. So many of you have seen me using these Aurora metallic nail powders before. Some of you have probably already got them. Now I'm going to have a play around with a couple of colours that I've not used yet. It's like a white, but maybe it'll give us a mirrored effect. And it's also like a chrome rainbow colour. So we're going to give a couple of different things a try and I might just back one or two in a black. It doesn't look very rainbow when I open the pot. So maybe I'll do this one on the test piece. <laughs> just in case it turns out terrible. I can see it now. Now it's brushed on, it's given a rainbow effect. So we're going to go in on one of the large hearts. Maybe this one and this one. So I'm not keen on the look of this one. It just looks white. This is the other one that I showed that hopefully will give us like a metallic effect. I don't know. This is why I love experimenting, especially with things that I've never used before. It's always fun to just play around and, and see what you get because you never know. Might as well do this one or two. <laughs> now that is crazy. And I'm now thinking, do I just do that in there? Uh, I've got to. Um, that means sacrificing the one that I was just going to do black. Look at that colour. So I'm going to keep one plain. I'm just going to top that up with clear. And I'm going to back the rest with black. Uh, just a small amount of black mica powder mixed in with my UV. Well, I'll see you for the exciting part. So it is now time to see what we've got. Let's start with a test piece, you never know. <laughs> oh, oh look at that that colour though in the background. I must have had something in my mould because it's got some marks on the front. I think that was where I forgot to undercure. From the underside. It's a shame. As always, give the video a thumbs up, drop me a comment if you haven't subbed it, it's free, hit that button for me. That's better. That was just the, the silver. It's not as good as I thought it would be. It's still got a nice flash to it though. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. It's worth testing though. Whoop, nearly. So it's just an alternative, just a play around idea. If you've got nail polishes, you, you can use them to colour your UV resin. Just don't go too overboard with it. The hearts, I think, are going to be the best ones. Not keen on that colour combo. <laughs> if I'm completely honest, let's start with the clear one. The one that I didn't add the black background to. Let's see what look at that flash. I have to use this a bit more often, I think. Wow, needs a bit of a trim down. And look at that, that is really, really cool. And that flash is so bright. I definitely need to play with that powder more. 
That is stunning. The colours aren't as strong as I thought they'd be. I could have maybe added a few more drops of the polish. What do you think? Or is it okay as it is? I'm not sure if the black is going to have made much of a difference because it's very solid. You can just see through. But we're going to find out. Let's see what we've got. It has made a difference. You can only minor. You can tell. You can just tell. I think it's more vibrant. But look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Really flashy. Really colourful in any light. Love it. Right, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, another crazy little experiment. <laughs> and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.